What up dudes, it's your buddy Aaron and welcome back to another G35 video. As you guys can see by the title, we got some exciting news for you and you don't want to miss it. I'm going to be getting the G35 tuned over at Z Fever in Tampa on the 22nd and then following that on the 23rd at 1.30 p.m. I'm going to be meeting up with you guys over at Orlando Kart Center just for a little go-kart race and you guys, if you guys are coming out, you guys can see the G in person and I may be doing some ride-alongs depending on how the G is acting that day. Um, going to be super fun. I'm looking forward to seeing a couple of you guys. So if you guys can make it out to Orlando Kart Center, Definitely come through, race some go-karts with us, and have some fun. I'm going to be bringing my buddy Jesse and his girlfriend. We're going to be going, getting the car tuned, and then we're going to be heading over there the next day. We're going to be staying up in Tampa just for the day, and then heading over to Orlando, and then hitting up the uh, Orlando Car Center the next day. So come out, meet me, greet me, buy some merch, whatever, have fun, ride some go-karts, see the G35 in person, and just have a good time. So if you guys are coming out, that would be awesome. I'd love to meet some of you guys. Um, but we're going to be diving into a couple little things that I want to get done on the G35 before we go ahead and bring it over to Z Fever to Martin at RS Enthalpy to go ahead and finally get it tuned and see if we can hit a good number as far as horsepower. And those couple of things are, well first before I get into that I want to show you guys, I put the little uh, grill on and it, it makes the car look super nice, check it out. It looks pretty badass with the grill on. Um, I'd like to get the emblemless grill that got destroyed in my last G35, um, but that'll be sometime down the road. I had this one hanging up on the wall over there. I don't know if you saw it in my videos, but had that hanging up there for a little while, and I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and put it on. And it looks super good, super clean with the uh, with the intercooler right below it, and uh, it hides the oil cooler that it looks a little rough. So that's pretty cool. Pretty soaked on that. But today I got two things that I want to do. Uh, number one, we're going to be installing a fuel pump relay in the G35. I got this little cheap kit off of Amazon. Comes with a new relay, a little circuit, some wiring, um, because I want to make sure that my fuel pump has enough power, because it is a bigger fuel pump than stock, and it's currently connected to the stock wiring with a stock relay and whatnot. Um, on stock wiring, it has a potential of not outputting um, enough power, or at least reaching the potential that that uh, fuel pump can actually reach. And I think with this entire build, that I have here. What I'm worried about as far as the whole build and bottlenecking would be my uh, my fuel pump. I'm hoping that it will give enough power. So this fuel pump relay kit will ensure that our fuel pump is going to be getting enough power and not cooking up these stock uh, wires to it. So we're going to hook up this fuel pump relay. I'm going to figure out how to do that because I really don't really know right now. Um, but that's number one. Number two, I got some of these brand new bolts. Got some of these brand new bolts for the transmission subframe uh, because two of them got stripped when I was in installing the subframe when I put the whole engine in and I've just been driving around with two bolts that are stripped and don't really uh, get tight um, so uh, the, the bolts never fell out they're still in place and whatnot but I want to make sure with 600 horsepower that I'm not gonna be losing transmission subframe bolts because that would not be fun so we're gonna go ahead and drill um, some new holes we're gonna go ahead and tap them um, make some new threading put heli coils in there and then we'll have new threads for our new bolts to be installed and then everything will be locked and loaded and ready to go then we can go ahead and take it over to uh, the gas station get her filled up and we are all set and ready to go I've been working on a couple things this past week just to get everything like tidied up i um, been working on the truck I went ahead and gave it a nice little oil change I rotated the tires on it. I changed the purge valve because it was like stalling on, on me at like every stoplight or, or every stop sign. So truck is perfect. It's running great right now. No issues and it is ready to go. And I'm leaving tomorrow to go up to my dad's house in Port St. Lucie uh, with my buddy. And from there, the next day, we're going to be heading over to Tampa. So um, this is going to be the last video for like at least a week before I get back. Then I can start editing the tune video. And I'm going to have some other amazing content uh, coming back from there because we might be picking up a drift trike and having some fun with that. It'll be super fun. So super stoked. I'm pretty excited to get all that done. But yeah, some amazing content coming up. And I'd love to, you know, film a video of, you know, doing the go-kart racing with some subscribers. That would be pretty sick. But let's just go ahead and jump right into today's video. I'm going to start drilling out the uh, the old bolt holes and start tapping them, putting in these new bolts, get that set, get that done and all set. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into the relay kit. So this is my transmission brace right here. Move over to the left a little bit. We got our bolts that hold it up right here. This one's good. This one's not stripped at all, but this one over here is stripped. So I got the drill uh, with the drill bit hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and drill it out. We're gonna go ahead and tap some new threads in there, put the Healy coil in, and we should be good to go ahead and tighten down our new bolt. Let's do it. 
So it looks like in order to successfully tap it, I'm gonna have to remove the subframe brace. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt it and uh, start tapping our new thread. All right guys, so this is our little tapping tool uh, that'll make the perfect threads to go ahead and fit our new Healy coil in. I went ahead and tapped the hole right here. Looks like even the other bolt is also stripped, so I'm gonna have to um, do the same thing on that bolt, but just for demonstration purposes, uh, you use this, you pretty much you go a full circle, come back a half a circle, do another full circle or two, come back another half a circle, and you're gonna slowly tap some new threads into the body. Uh, now I got this new Healy coil. I'm gonna use this tool right here to set the Healy coil on there And then we're gonna go ahead and just twist it into place And then we will have some new fresh threads for the same size bolt that we need to use to put in that in that hole You know all right guys We officially have a perfect threaded bolt right there for our new bolts I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other bolt holes that are stripped We're gonna get this brace back on and we'll start working on that fuel pump relay all right, so that took a lot longer than I had expected to get that subframe brace perfectly secured, but everything is good. All of our holes are drilled, tapped. They got some new heli coils in there, perfect threads. Everything tightened up, everything's really good, and I don't have to worry about losing my transmission while I'm driving, so that's always a plus. Anyway, as you guys can see, it's getting a little bit dark outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night for now. I want some nice light when we are filming the fuel pump relay installation, and I've also still gotta wrap my whole head around how to do it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, call it a night, and I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit in the morning. Yo, we are back, it is the next day, we got some daylight out, so now uh, we are ready to go ahead and dive into installing this fuel pump relay for our larger Wabro 485 fuel pump. So I just removed the cowl over here because we're gonna need some room to feed a red wire um, going down into the grommet right here. I'm gonna feed it all the way down into like the passenger door right here. And we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, this panel down here, a little kick panel, and then I think we're gonna just pop this one out real quick just to kind of feed it in there and then get it to the fuel pump. I'm probably gonna have to drill a little bit into the top of the fuel pump housing, put a little grommet there, and I picked up this nice little kit, got some goodies. Um, this kit has a bunch of grommets and things that I need for uh, any electrical jobs in the future. So this is gonna be a pretty helpful kit. Picked it up from Advanced Auto Parts. Also went to Home Depot, picked up a nice little soldering iron. They're pretty cheap, 20 bucks. And it comes with three LEDs and everything. So it's pretty cool. This is the standard one up at 750 Fahrenheit. Got some electrical solder so that we can solder our wires together, do it properly. And we also got some shrink wrap inside of this kit. So we're gonna be doing it like professionally. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that now. We're gonna get the relay power wire hooked up here. So we're gonna do that right now. Boom, so we went ahead and got our our power wire all set up. It's attached to our power on the battery. Went ahead and disconnected the battery just so nothing's nothing's gonna work right now. But uh, connected that and I fed it through the grommet right here that goes into the cabin of the car. So now we got our wire fed through inside of the car and we're gonna go ahead and attach our fuse on this side. I went ahead and cut on um, this power wire that is attached to this relay housing right here um, because I have to add the fuse anyway and it made it a lot easier to feed it from this side then from feeding it down and up. So fed it through here, pulled it off on the other side, and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and install our fuse right there, and then um, we're gonna start working on tearing up the fuel pump. So all we gotta do is remove the fuel pump. Um, I had to use a test light to figure out which is the stock power wire on this harness to figure out you know which, which one of these wires is the power wire that gives our uh, fuel pump power right now. And the thing is, these wires are super thin and they don't really hold up to the power that these new fuel pumps um, give. We're gonna go ahead and cut that power wire and splice it to this wire right here on our relay. This will pretty much uh, tell our relay when to turn on and when to uh, give our fuel pump some power. Um, this wire right here is a lot thicker of a gauge and can hold up to the power that our fuel pump needs. So this right here is our relay that's gonna plug into that housing. Um, you can see it's kinda hard to see the little numbers on there, but um, on the front it shows a nice little easy to read diagram. So we have 30 on the left over here. That's gonna be our power wire coming from the battery, coming right over here to like this breaker or this switch, whatever, the relay itself, um, going to 87 or 87A. Um, it stays on 87A until um, it gets power from that spliced cable that I was just talking about and then it will send power uh, throughout the relay to our fuel pump. So once we take out that fuel pump housing, we're gonna go ahead and cut the negative and the power wire that is currently going to the fuel pump. And we're gonna go ahead and connect the power of the fuel pump to this thick yellow one right here. And then this relay itself has its own ground. So we're gonna ground it off 
Uh, wherever we mount it, we're probably gonna mount it somewhere right here because there's a lot of metal there, there's a lot of body uh, chassis right there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, ground it off right there. And um, then the ground, we're gonna go ahead and cut a nice little hole in the top of that fuel pump housing and feed the power and ground through that through a little grommet. I'm gonna seal it off with some RTV so it doesn't leak any air or anything like that. And uh, then we're gonna ground off the fuel pump directly to the chassis, right where this thing's gonna be grounded off to. And then the power of the fuel pump is gonna go to this yellow wire right here. So red is our power, this is our ground. This is gonna be our turn on uh, as soon as we turn our key. This, uh, this little yellow and white wire will connect to the stock harness so that it'll tell the relay when to turn on and then we're gonna get our power through this yellow cable going straight to the fuel pump. So pretty easy. It took me a little while to kind of wrap my head around this. I watched like seven different videos of, of people setting up their fuel pump relays and there's a lot of different ways you can set it up but um, it's all pretty much it's all pretty much the same once you once you get an understanding of how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and rip out that fuel pump and uh, hook up this fuse and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so we got our fuel pump housing out of the car. Check it out. So this is, this is what it is, what it looks like. Got our fuel return set up and everything. Everything's cool. Got our pump, our, our pump housing modified for our bigger pump in there. And what we are looking for is our negative and our positive wires for the fuel pump alone, which is going to be right here. So. Um, I think I'm going to be deleting this connector right here because pretty much what I want to do is uh, stop having this connector power the fuel pump and have my own power power the fuel pump. So uh, we're probably just going to go ahead and cut these off, remove this connector right here and then we're going to cut this connector off and we're going to hardwire the positive and the negative up and through the top of here so I can get the relay connected to it. So that's going to be the mission right now. We're going to go ahead and do that. Check it out, so we got our power wire, the shorter one, and the ground wire, the longer one. Um, we got it drilled through the top here. I put a little grommet and then I went ahead and RTV'd it, sealed it up. So that's gonna be our direct power and ground for the fuel pump. And the other wires that come from the stock connector, I just went ahead and zip tied up. I'm not gonna be using those anymore. And yeah, pretty much gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'm gonna start working on the rest of it, which is gonna be the fuse and just routing uh, the wires and mounting our relay housing. Ooh. All right guys, so sweating like crazy right now because you know hot ass Florida But also I am busting ass right now because I'm trying to get all this done My tune day is tomorrow at 10 a.m. And I'm trying to get everything all set and ready to go I still gotta I still got so much other things to do. I gotta pick up the trailer I gotta go pick up my buddies. I gotta pack everything like I'm just rushing trying to get this done I should not have waited till last minute, but I'm pretty proud of myself so far So let me show you guys what I did if you guys can see down here, I got the fuse uh, connected. Just gotta go ahead and hide it away somewhere. But before I do that, I wanna make sure that everything works. Got it um, ran over here into the back panel. I drilled into the lid over here, put a grommet there so that that wire can pop out. Um, inside, I went ahead and cut the harness so that the 12 volt wire will turn on the relay. And then I went ahead and wired up the fuel pump. So I got our ground bolt right here. That's grounding out the relay as well as the fuel pump. And um, I got the power to the fuel pump right here wired up. Went ahead and soldered everything. I shrunk, I, I used the sh uh, shrink wrap and that is perfect. Everything is good to go nice and sealed. And I'm super scared, but I'm ready to just go ahead and plug in the battery and see if it works. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start her up and see how she runs. I'm gonna go ahead and just prime it a couple more times. Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god, oh no. That scared the crap out of me. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and prime it. You guys are gonna hear it. I know you guys heard that. All right, we're gonna try and start it up now.
god, that's so sick. First try, bro. It never goes as planned, yo. I'm so happy with that. Now I just gotta hide all these wires, clean up all these fucking tools and everything. Woo! Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready and all set to go on our Tampa trip. Um, I'm gonna start working on all that right now off of camera just a bunch of cleaning up and whatnot a bunch of little things to do But I wanted to get this video out today for you guys so that you guys know that we're going to Tampa and then going to Orlando On the 23rd at Orlando Kart Center if you guys want to come hang out ride some go-karts have a good time Come on out 1 30 on the 23rd September 23rd at 1 30 p.m. Orlando Kart Center make sure you guys smash that like button because we are always winning we'll See you guys in the next video take it easy